In this video, I'm going to show you the best way that you can buy a domain name in 2023. I'm going to buy a domain name with you live on video, and I'm going to show you what that whole process looks like. Okay, so buying a domain name is relatively easy. Uh, the first thing you need to do is figure out where you want to buy it from. Now, I recommend that you use Namecheap.com. Now, there are many domain registration companies you can use. I just find Namecheap the easiest. So what you need to do is go to Namecheap.com, and then if you scroll down here, you can see you can register a domain name to start. So go ahead and type in your domain name that you're thinking of registering. So I'm gonna try and register here online how to guide. Now you don't have to add a .com or .co.uk at the end of this. You can just click on search and it will give you all of the domain extensions which are available. So here we've, got, we've searched for online how to guide and you can see we've got online how to .guide available available for $29 per year. Then if we keep going down here, you've got different results here at different prices. So ideally, you want the .com version. Now, if the .com version is available, please just choose the .com because it's gonna rank better in Google and Google just favors .com domains better. But you can get other domains, like the second best one in my opinion is .net. If you just want a random like domain and you're not really caring about it ranking in Google, you can go ahead and scroll down here. You can get some of these domains. This one is $3 a year, so you can get them really cheap here. So I'm going to register here online how to guide dot click and you can register any of these. You just need to decide and then click on add to cart. Now, when you do that, you're going to get this pop up appear and Namecheap are going to try and upsell you some products here. Now, in my opinion, you don't need any of these, and you can go ahead and re recheck these and have a look at these in, at the checkout. So just go ahead and go to the checkout in the bottom right-hand corner. That should then take you to this page. Now, we need to make sure we've got all of the correct settings here and we understand what all of this means. So we're registering the domain online how to guide dot click. So just double check there's no spelling errors in that. We're registering it for a year, but we can change this to up to 10 years, and you can choose whether you want it for 10 years, one year, or so on. Now, if you click on one year and then choose auto renew, it's going to automatically renew the domain after one year. So you pay for the first year and then when the first year is over, if you've got auto renew checked, it will automatically renew the domain and pay for the domain for another year. There's going to be an ICAM fee, which is always going to appear here. You're not going to be able to get rid of that. And Namecheap give you, and this is why I like Namecheap, domain privacy. So... You can see here, this is enabled and it's available for auto renew, which should be on. You can see it's free forever. This will essentially make it so no one can search for your domain and find your personal information. And so this is important. Then scroll down here and you can add any of these if you wanted to, but I never add any of these. The most important one is privacy and domain privacy. So go ahead and confirm that order. Then if you've got an account already on Namecheap, you can log in. If you haven't, you can create an account. So go ahead and enter in your first and last name and email. I've just logged into my existing account here, but now you can double check your order. And if you scroll down here, you'll see your payment details at the bottom. So my payment details have automatically been added, but for you, you're just going to have to click add down here. There'll be a button and you can go ahead and add your card. So once you're happy with your payment information, click on pay now. And you can see you've now purchased your domain name. And now to find your domain name, whenever you go to Namecheap, whenever you're on the homepage, you just want to go to your account here. If you're logged in, then go to dashboard. Then on the dashboard, go to domain list. And here you can see your domain and you can turn off auto renew as well if you want to here. So that's the best way to buy a domain. Let me know if that helps you out.